Hey guys, welcome to 334 Tactical Outdoors. Today I'm out here because I want to make a video of how to put a PWM inside of a box. Uh, a lot of people are having a hard time cutting this little rectangle hole out and uh, how to get the control knob, <clears throat> how to get it all off of PWM and, and get it installed inside of a little box. So I want to make a video to show you how easy it is to be able to cut out that little rectangle hole uh, show you my process of how I do it anyway. So if you find the video helpful, leave me a like. If you have any questions about it, leave me a comment. And guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you watching. Thanks. All right, guys. <clears throat> Here's a PWM. Here's your uh, speed control knob. And here's that little switch that everybody has problem with. Uh, it's a little rectangle switch. You don't have very much room there uh, for making mistakes with it because there <laughs> isn't very much to cover. So I'm gonna show you how easy it can be. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I use. Thing that you can use to basically give you a template for cutting it. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that now. The tools I'm going to be using is a drill with some drill bits and I also have a Dremel tool set here. A Dremel tool will make it a whole lot easier. Now I've got a little box here. Uh, this is a little six inch storage bin. So we have a little box and as you can see my PWM sits down in there. Now what I'm going to do is where my switch and my speed control, I'm going to cut the hole where they come out at. So let me, uh, let me show you how to do that. Now, all PWMs are about the same. They all have a little screw that holds the cage on. And this little cage has just gotta be popped off. So just take a, uh, take a screwdriver, remove them screws. Now, once you have the screws removed, your cage only comes off one way. It just kind of slides off. So as you can see, it just, it's got little grooves around here. Them little grooves just sits down and slides back and forth on that, but just take your cage off. That gives you access to your PWM control board here. Now, the variable speed control switch the knob just pops off of it. So it just sits back down on there. The knob pops off and you got a little nut here. You can take that nut off. So when you drill your hole through something, let me, uh, let me give you a, a test hole to show you what I'm talking about with that. So I'm going to just take and give it a little test hole. So basically all your knob does is come up. See how it fits through there? You just fit it through. Put the nut back on. Screw it down tightly. and you would put your knob back on. That's how that gets done. So the knob is a very simple one to do. You don't have to remove the wiring for it. Get this back out of here. This was just for a test. So as you can see, you don't have to remove the wiring for the control knob. Now the your forward and reverse switch, you do have to remove it from the harness here because you got to have it to go down through there and it just pops off. Just pull it very lightly. Do not pull it hard, just pull it lightly and pop it out of there. Now when doing the switch, is I take a piece of this cardstock that I have, 
if you lay the switch upside down on it like this trace around the outside of the switch So now you have the outside of the switch. You have the full size of the outside of the switch. Now you know you can't cut out the full outside of the switch. So now I'm not measuring. A lot of people can measure this. I do it by eyeball, but as you see, you just got a little bit of an inside lip. So what I do, is draw that little bit of an inside lip. Take a razor blade. This is just so much easier to work with. When you get the inside just marked out, then you can take your switch and fit it to it and see how it's a very, how it barely fits that hole. If you'll push it on through, and as you can see, your switch fits through there very nicely. So now, push that back out. Now it gives you a little template that you can mark on. Go to your box where you're wanting your... Where you're wanting your forward and reverse switch to come out of, which I believe I'm gonna mount this one right on the lid. So I want it coming out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it right here at the corner of this box right here. So I would like to have it right here on the box. So what you would do with that is get your template where you're wanting your knob to come out. Get a marker where I can see it. Take your marker, draw your template where you're wanting your knob to come out at. So now that I took my template and traced it over to my box, you can make sure that's where you want your switch to come out of. You can adjust it in any way. If you don't like the positioning of it, just move it around. Uh, but I like the position of where it's at there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a drill bit. And you want a drill bit that's just big enough to get it like the top side of your hole where it's not too big for your hole. But as you can see, my drill bit fits from side to side of my hole. And right there, I'm just going to make a real slowly i'm just going to tap it into the box do not do any of this fast all of it can be done very very slow just drill you a hole in it this hole is just going to be big enough to get my dremel tool in there to get my dremel tool started Okay, as you can see, my hole's just big enough to get my Dremel tool in there, so I'm gonna get my Dremel tool out. I'll show you what tool I'm gonna use on the Dremel tool. Now, all Dremel tools come with these little sets in them. 
uh, I'm just going to use this little uh, bit here in my Dremel tool. But with the hole that I drilled already with the drill bit, now I'm going to take a Dremel tool on a very slow setting. I'm going to work inside my hole here. And it just pops on in there. Now once you get your switch, where your switch fits inside the box there, make sure it's where you want it at. And as you can see, you just take your time, uh, work it on in there, and you get your switch in there on the back side here. Make sure it comes all the way through on the back side and your clips pop in to keep it from popping out. And that's it. That's how you put the switch in. Now on your I'm going to put the uh variable speed control knob on this side of the box so get right here we're going to drill a small hole here pop the knob off unscrew the nut back on it we'll go ahead and put the cage in the bottom lay the pwm back in the cage for now just going to lay it in there. Turn the knob over. Clip the knob on through. Take the nut on the top. Screw your nut down top for the variable uh, speed control. Put your knob back on. Now you have your forward and reverse switch mounted in and you have your variable speed control knob mounted in. So now the only thing that you got to do is go ahead and get your cage. Go ahead and plug your forward and reverse switch. Go ahead and plug it back in. like so get the cage back for your pwm slide it back over line up your holes to put your screws back in take your screws I always start back at the back side of the cage Get that back screw back in at the back side. Right here on the front side. Once you get your PWM mounted back in, you can lay it down. Now you have your PWM inside of a box. Now you have your variable speed control knob. You have your forward and reverse switch. The only thing you have left from this point here is just your wiring down here on the bottom side. Uh, what you can do with your wiring is right here on the bottom side you would just drill your holes out 
to run your wire through. This video was just to show how to put the uh, forward and reverse switch on and uh, how to put your variable speed control knob through. And uh, that's it, guys. It's a very easy, simple process to do. Like I said, just take your time with it. Uh, always start out with some kind of little template. Templates always help out a whole lot better. Uh, it gives you a little spot that you can go through. Um, and just be careful, easy, and take your time. So if you have any questions about it, guys, just leave me a comment. I appreciate you watching. Thanks.